The legendary Louisville clock, or Derby clock as it was often called, was a Louisville landmark. It was a big dream, a big success, and then it saw a serious downfall. Tonight in the WHAS 11 Vault, we look back at the time teller's journey, which starts in the 1970s. <laughs> In 1976, the 40-foot-high timepiece debuted on 4th Street in downtown Louisville. It charmed the crowds who came to marvel at its fanciful characters. Celebrated Louisville sculptor Barney Bright was commissioned by the city to create the clock six years earlier. He designed it to showcase iconic Louisville landmarks and personalities through a derby race. The competitors included George Rogers Clark, Daniel Boone, Thomas Jefferson, King Louis XVI, and the Belle of Louisville. And watching from the sidelines, notable Louisvillians from years past, including President Zachary Taylor, D.W. Griffith, Mary Anderson, Henry Watterson, and trumpeter Oliver Cook. This is the Derby clock here on the River City Mall. It was several years in designing, $210,000 in the making, and it isn't working. The clock would start and stop several times over the years and eventually fell into disrepair. Facing a hefty maintenance price tag, it was out of operation. And it was in pieces by 2005 when Louisville entrepreneur and business owner Adam Burkle bought the clock and started a restoration project to fix it at Bowman Field. I think that this clock was literally in Louisville for 100 years because everybody who comes up and stops by here has a fond memory of what it was doing and when it was doing it. It's the city's clock, it's the Louisville clock. The clock underwent years of extensive renovation and the repair work came from the heart. I enjoyed it. My kids enjoyed it when it, when it was running, and I want, I want to take my grandkids down there and let them see it run. Many passionate volunteers helped with the rebuilding process, and seven years later, the clock was on the move. The 6.5-ton time teller was loaded onto a truck for the trek from Bowman Field back to downtown Louisville. It traveled down 65 with a police escort, and then came the challenging part, the turn from Broadway to 4th, with just inches left to squeeze through. For project manager Steve Weiser, the moment of the clock's return was the fulfillment of a promise he first made to Barney Bright, the clock's creator. And I gave him my word before he passed that we will get this done for him, so it, it's a personal achievement for me to get this uh, back downtown just for him. Once downtown, the clock was put into place and the celebrations began. Five, four, three. After years of disrepair, the Louisville clock made its triumphant return to Theater Square. But the return was short-lived. The clock became the victim of graffiti and vandalism. One of its racing figures even had its leg broken. And once again, it was plagued by operational problems and eventually removed. For the lucky few who saw it work, the Derby City clock was truly magical. And hopefully, one day, it will run again. Well, if you're wondering where it is now, in 2015, the Derby clock was removed to make way for the expansion of Kindred Healthcare's corporate headquarters. It was placed in storage, and that is still where it is today.